does it is a mystic stages the reality into two categories lower reality and the absolute reality lower reality is the relative reality it's full of names forms words thoughts divisions boundaries but the absolute reality is beyond all this beyond the names beyond the forms beyond the thoughts beyond the divisions beyond the limits beyond the boundaries that is absolute okay we can call it as a void dharmakaya dao brahman godhead or oh, whatever it is buddha nature nothingness everythingness but that is it is it is beyond the words okay because there is no good or bad neither the saint or the sinner no birth nay no death there is nothing no pair of opposites so what are the philosophical theories that we are discussing it existed or it will be existing in the mistaken dualistic minds in realm of absolute okay there is no tomorrow there is no today there is no yesterday as well so no one can guarantee the philosophy's validity any intellectual way of seeing whatever is is relative and pointing out to the fact the fact is the that you are the existence eternally you need to discover that fact the mind try to continuously limit itself in the condition of dualism the dualism is the root of our suffering root of our all conflicts dualism is the root of all the concepts all the beliefs whatever ideology dogma seems to be profound but it's like a net which is trapping us when we discover our limits we try to overcome them we should untie ourselves from whatever it is you know uh, let it be political let it be environmental let it be social or uh, let it be technological let it be uh, 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 legal okay let it be religious whatever going to condition you need to be away from that you need to abandon those concept concepts even the concept of enlightenment also you need to abandon even the concept of the nature of the mind also you need to abandon you are no longer can be satisfied with the intellectual knowledge you need to go beyond the knowledge beyond the mind just to be who you are consider the fact that no matter how many solar systems how many planets how many stars are reflected in the lake those reflections are encompassed within the water itself so no matter how many multiverses are there they will be confined in a single space no matter how vast or the numerous sensory appearances are there they will be encompassed within the single nature of the universal mind find out that source of mind that source is you when you really understand you who you are simple you recognize that you are unalloyed bliss you are the bliss that you only dreamt of your bliss is in the silence when nothing is happening you are in bliss when everything is happening that time also you are in bliss but you need to recognize that you are in bliss just be that always be in bliss always be at the peace the krishnas the buddhas the krit the krit the christ the allah the shaivas the shaktayas all are within you you are already that there is only one self and you are that you are the truth the knowledge of this thing finds you to know that you are an eternally infinite bliss right now right here when you understand who you are that you are the divine nature that you are not the body you are not the mind you are not the intellect what else you just be what you are this is a simple fact just be just be